Welcome dear friends. Let me offer my humble obeisances time and again unto my spiritual master and unto Sri Gaurachandra, Srimati Radhika, her associates and her holy abode Sri Vrindavan and unto Sri Krishna, his devotees and the devotees of his devotees. May they bless us with the most sublime understanding for of supreme love, of pure divine love, for the benefit of all. So as you have seen from the title, I am going to speak on something very different today that I don't usually speak about, but uh, there is so much um, <clears throat> information circulated about threats, about apocalypse, about globalism and so forth, and much of it may be true. But what I've rarely seen uh, is one thing that goes back to a vision I had about 20 years ago, 1996, 97, something like that. I'm not 100% sure I could dig it out, but um, I, I've written it down then. So, but then um, when I came to know about uh, geoengineering, chemtrails, uh, and um, the metallurgic particles, aluminium, barium, strontium, and other stuff that they are spraying into our atmosphere, then combine that information with uh, the frequency modulating um, devices like HARP and many others that we have on the planet, how they are trying to control the planet's uh, weather, uh, for different uh, purposes, uh, also military purposes, and it's very complicated. And it's a time ago, a while ago, since I watched all these things, so I don't have all the terms at hand. That doesn't matter really. But if you have that knowledge, and then you see how much radiation is actually going on, and you have all these mobile towers and all the buildings, and then you have on top of it, you have wireless uh, devices in almost every household. I mean, the radiation is enormous. So, so you know that um, it's all energy. So the whole atmosphere is so, so charged with different frequencies. And now if you bring all these particles in, and then you combine it with my vision that I had, then suddenly there comes an idea that is hardly discussed. In fact, please tell me if you ever find any reference to what I'm going to tell you now. But um, yeah, I'm really wondering. So what I saw in that vision, and at that time I didn't have hardly any knowledge about it, and I couldn't make really sense of it. In that vision, uh, I saw how the Earth's atmosphere... Um, formed into one huge cloud which was thickening and thickening and it was becoming darker and darker. I was like, wow, that's that's pretty scary. It was covering the whole planet basically. And at one point it began to sort of charge, charging up, charging up and slowly beginning to glow. And then most intense thunderbolts and uh, lightning started to discharge, you know, like, because the atmosphere couldn't keep that charge anymore. And from that, um, earthquakes, volcano eruptions, and a big upheaval, um, which was killing at least 90% of the population. So now I don't want to scare anyone, but later on, when what I introduced before, when um, uh, these informations, I received those informations about um, the geoengineering and all the things that are going on and all the wireless communication, etc. Now think even all the apps that people have on their mobile phones, 
they are automatically updating usually I mean I switch that off but I don't know about you know like who is doing that most of the people they're just like sheep and then it's all going automatically and they're streaming and they're watching and it's all flat rates and so there is such an enormous stream and with our money they're building more and more of these towers they want to put uh, out Wi-Fi uh, wi for whole cities etc so now if you have that combination and combine it with the vision that I had now think couldn't it be possible if all these devices by some supposed error or mm, hacking like a false flag hacking hacking if they all went to full power at the same time then what would the atmosphere do with all that energy combined with all the particles that you have in the atmosphere then you would easily have the scenario that I experienced in my dream in my vision actually and um, you couldn't blame it on anyone oh it just happened 90% of the population got wiped out isn't that what they wanted why are all these super elites super rich people building their bunkers and underground um, mansions and all that kind of stuff so I don't like to scare people but you know it's just like wake up folks there are also other possibilities to reduce the world population to what they want I mean that's you know you, you can investigate <clears throat> into the the claims <clears throat> that they want maximum population of 500 million so if we're having six billion people now that would be quite feasible and no one could blame them you know it's the people themselves who used that technology and uh, somehow then some error happened or it was hijacked it was hacked whatever and uh, who can tell you know once it happens so I'm just uh, cautioning you and also for your own health and safety don't have the streaming on all the time switch off your phone switch off your wireless uh, devices your Wi-Fi and everything at least at night and if you don't use it switch all that stuff off because you're gonna feel better and you can relax your body can recover and rejuvenate etc etc so that's about it I could talk so much um, there's also some pretty interesting stuff about a uh, false flag invasion of aliens which uh, might be uh, planned that you might want to investigate uh, Dr. Stephen Greer is pretty interesting on that subject matter and um, also uh, question what actually even uh, a potentially well-meaning president even of the mightiest country let's say United States um, might have um, what chances does he really have to uh, change uh, things if they are like let's say as I have heard 21 levels of security above the president just let that sink in etc etc that's also another channel uh, Reconquista Germania and um, <clears throat> you can look into that the whole uh, liberalism on on uh, the dangers of Islam and so many things going on uh, we may be spiritualist we may be integralist we may be uh, all for love is the only answer <clears throat> but still we should at least be somewhat informed and not just uh, put our hand uh, head into the sand and pretend not to hear not to see uh, and well if it really heats up maybe we want to leave the cities and um, yeah just some thoughts and I'm looking forward to your comments and um, stay awake stay loving uh, find the compassion inside and uh, be self-reliant be guided from within
May the divine show us the way to love and peace. Thanks for watching. Jai Shri Radhe.